Hi, my name's Paul Spinner from Mega Limited. I'm here today to talk to you about the MIT range of 5 and 10 kV insulation testers. There are three products in the range, MIT 515, which is the entry level product, the MIT 525, which has full diagnostic capabilities, and the MIT 1025, which has full diagnostic capabilities and has 10 kV output. The instrument I have here today is the MIT 525. This is a 5 kV output instrument and it has full diagnostic capability. The instrument has a quick, easy to remove lid and in the, in the lid itself there's a quick start guide to get you started. With the feedback we had and talking to the customers who use our instruments and any other instrument on the market, Everybody has said how important it is for the instrument to be as easy and simple to use as possible. As you can see from the front panel, there are two rotary switches, one to select the mode and one to select the test voltage and other functionalities such as data, storage and download and the settings. There's also the addition of a separate voltage measurement range. This means the instrument is extremely easy to use and you can see by the front panel Everything it does is, is displayed on the front. There is no hidden function keys. There are no mode keys. It does exactly what it says. The MIT 525 I have here can measure up to 10 terahm. The 10 kV version, the MIT 1025, can measure up to 20 terahm. Both instruments are fully diagnostic. On the mode selection switch here, we have an IR test, insulation resistance. There's a timed IR test. This will stop automatically at the time you set. There's the DIR, which is dielectric absorption ratio, the polarization index test, dielectric discharge test, step voltage test, and also, finally, the ramp test. So it's fully diagnostic. All the tests you require are on the product. It's small, lightweight, making it easy to carry, easy to store. It's also fitted with lithium-ion battery technology, which means it can be charged in two hours flat. It's tough. It's got dual case construction. The inner case gives you the fire retardancy and protection, but the outer case gives you the toughness, the ability to take the knocks and the impacts of everyday life. It's also noise immune. It has a full 3 milliamp of noise immunity, making it ideal for substation environments. In addition, we have a voltage measuring range here, which can measure up to 660 volts, and also can measure frequency. We have full data storage and download via USB, and all the test results are date and time stamped. I'd now like to take you through a full product demonstration. First of all, we're going to do a simple insulation resistance test. Move the uh, mode switch to the IR position, then select the voltage I require, in this case 5000 volts, and then press and hold down the test button until the test starts. That's to prevent accidental operation. You'll notice on the display, the instrument is indicating the test voltage. Now we have the IR value in megohms. In the bottom left-hand corner, you'll note the timer. And also, to the right of that, we have the leakage current measurement. To terminate the test, you press the test button again. At this point, the instrument will discharge any capacitance on the test piece, and then the display holds the measurement. Now I'll show you a timed IR test. First of all, we set the IRT on the mode switch. Then, as before, we select our test voltage and then hold down the test button until the test commences. 
Once the test commences, the indicator light flashes to warn of high voltage. The timer operates as before, only this time when the test reaches the set time, the test is terminated. The time can be user set. As you can see, the test has now stopped and at this point, if there was any capacitance, the instrument would discharge it. Any voltage would appear on the screen. I will now show you a dielectric absorption ratio test. I select a mode switch to DAR select the required test voltage and then press and hold the test button until the test commences. The instrument will take a reading at 30 seconds and one minute and then show the final DAR value. The two test times are both user settable. The test is now completed and the final DAR value, in this case 1 because I'm testing a purely resisted load, is displayed together with the final values of the test. I'll now show you a polarization index test. Firstly, we set the mode switch to PI, the range switch to the required test voltage, then press and hold down the test button until the test commences. The instrument will take a reading at 1 minute and at 10 minute and then show you the ratio. The test is now coming to an end. And now the final polarization index value is displayed. Next we'll look at the dielectric discharge test. We select DD on our mode switch, select the required test voltage, and press and hold down the test button. The test starts. For the purposes of this video, I've set the charge cycle to 30 seconds. Normally this would default to 30 minutes. The first cycle of the test is complete and the instrument has started the discharge cycle. And now at one minute the final current is measured and after one minute of discharge the current is measured and then the final dielectric discharge value is displayed. Next, I'll show you a step voltage test. We select SV on the mode switch. We select our required test voltage. And then press and hold down the test button until the test commences. The instrument will increase the test voltage in five equal steps. In this case, because I have selected 5 kV, the instrument will increment in 1 kV steps. The default time for this test is five minutes, so each step is one minute long. And here we see the first value logged on the display and the test voltage now increases to 2,000 volts. The instrument is now coming to the end of the fifth and final step at 5 kV, and now you can see all five values displayed on the, on the display. And finally, I'll show you the ramp test. Firstly, we select the ramp symbol on the mode switch. 
we select the test voltage, and then we press and hold down the test button until the test commences. In this test, the voltage is ramped up at a default value of 1000 volt per minute as per IEEE 43000. Okay, the test is nearing completion. The voltage has nearly reached 5000 volts. Of course, normally you would either log the curve or stream the data to a PC for later analysing of the current curve. Right, now having just looked at all the different diagnostic tests, I'd like to show you some of the other features the product has. Firstly, we'll have a look at the variable voltage range. In this range, you, the user can set the voltage from 50 volt to 5 kV if it's a 525 or 10,000 volts if it's a 1025. We have a number of preset voltages, 5 kV, 2.5 kV, 1 kV, 500 volts, and 250 volts. In addition, we have a separate voltage measurement range, which can measure from 30 volts to 660 volts, and will also measure frequency to, from 45 to 65 hertz. The spanner symbol, which is the settings range, allows the user to set a number of parameters. The IR range selected gives you, firstly, the user preset voltage, which I can adjust and then accept. There is also a IR test limit alarm, which at the moment is set to 1000 K ohms. And there is also the facility to enable a temperature uh, field in the data storage. On the other ranges, whichever range you select, whichever test is selected, the user is able to adjust the appropriate timings. Here we have the data storage functions. In this position with the folder symbol, the user can review the stored test results on screen. We have a USB position for downloading the test results to a PC. And finally, we have the little bin symbol, which allows the user to either delete an individual test result or clear the memory of all test results. Thank you for watching this video. If you require more information, please contact us on sales 01304 502 101 and lifetime tech support on 01304 502 102. Alternatively, you can find information on our website www.mega.com or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube.